we're talking about fulfillment. Now, one of the biggest misconceptions of fulfillment, true fulfillment, is that it's a feeling. Fulfillment is not a feeling. People who spend their entire lives chasing after this feeling of fulfillment will forever be unsatisfied. True fulfillment is when you are living out God's purpose in your life. Because the fact is, God created each and every one of us with unique talents and abilities that nobody else can do. Whatever it is, you can do it better than everybody around you. In fact, God has given you a certain passion over that talent that you have that you are to live out in your life. So how do you know you're living out God's purpose in your life? Well, that is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall make your path straight. Now, I want to focus on one word, well, two words, a phrase, sorry. In all your ways, acknowledge him. So when we look at the Hebrew translation for acknowledge, it means to recognize when seen. And it doesn't say some of your ways. It says all. All your ways acknowledge God. That's the only way he is directing your path. The reality is God created you special. He created you powerful. He created you specifically for this one thing. Whatever that thing is. Now... All this fulfillment stuff is not going to happen overnight. It's going to take long prayers and guidance. So you can't do it alone. You need to find a church home. You need to find a spiritual leader. You need to find a good community of people who are also like-minded, who are also seeking God's purpose in their life. But the reality is, once you start living God's purpose in your life every day, in all of your ways, you no longer conform to the patterns of this world and you transform your mind by renovating all that old stuff, you will be truly fulfilled. Well, that's all I gotta say. I know it's a lot, sorry, but anyway. Till next time, y'all be cool.